story. The Rebbe relates here when the Friedrich Rebbe was in Wien, in Vienna. This would be in 1928, 27, 28. So he was asked by, uh, I guess, over there, maybe more than one person, why? Why he's so lenient in the mitzvah of you shall surely rebuke your fellow? Where's the Musa? Where's the rebuke? And moreover, they see that he's been makadav, such people about which it says, we let them descend, we don't lift them up. That means it's just talking about the heretics. And the heretic, you know, metaphorically, if a heretic is in some, fall into, into some uh, pit, then uh, you, don't, you don't lift him out of the, you leave him there. So here he's dealing with, with Apikursim, with, uh, with, with heretics, non-observant Jews. How is it that he's lax in the midst of a rebuke and dealing with such Jews that we are supposed to disassociate ourselves from? Now, this question today, by the way, the answer generally is, there's no such Jew as a heretic. It doesn't exist anymore. It's just simply unaware, not being educated, not knowing. It's all circumstantial, not really any, any decision. But in former generations, it's somewhat of a decision. Because people were brought up for the most part in, in homes, observant homes, and received some kind of Jewish education. See, it was the answer of the, of the Fidik Rebbe, which I know the Rebbe often quoted in letters to people and told this, in fact, once to my great uncle in uh, Yeshidis many years ago. He said like this at the Fidik Rebbe, Shulchan Aruch has four sections. Erachayim, which deals with day-to-day -day life. Yeredeya, which deals with like laws of kashrus and mikveh. Evna Ezra, which deals with laws pertaining to marriage and so on. And Chesha Mishpat, dealing with uh, conflicts, civil conflicts. So the order is that Chesha Mishpat is the last of the four volumes. Now this law that the apostate, the heretic, is to be left and ignored, that appears at the end of the fourth volume. And in the fourth volume, Chesha Mishpat, there are 420 plus chapters. Now the details of you leave him there on the pit, are the end, it's the end of the last chapter. So the previous, so the figure I've said to the question, why are you starting from left to right? You line them up on the shelf. You're starting from the last volume, and this is what concerns you. How do you know the Jew is the, 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 the heretic, and he has to be ignored? You say, that's not the Jewish way. The secular way is you read from left to right. You didn't go from right to left. He says, so first learn all the other four, uh, uh, level the uh, uh, volumes of Shukran and be particular in their observance. And if you have mastered all these four levels and you're perfect in the observance, then we'll sit down, we'll discuss the final chapter of the final final volume. Then we'll, we'll talk about it, hinting to them you got some work to do in all of this before you're going to be, you know, critical of, of the so called secular Jew and how he's being dealt with. So that was the Fidig Rebbe's way in answering it. I told you that I would often quote this. You know, you're perfect in all of this, not yet. And then we'll deal with that final, how you deal with the, the, the so-called so uh, heretic. Have a wonderful day, an inspiring day, and see you all, God willing, tomorrow. Thank you, Rabbi.